really what to say. There's really anything to say without having the ability to speak like six different languages and past, present, and future tense. English is a second, third, and fourth language. The battlefield of the spoken word. You see, first things first, everything you know is a lie. Uh, let's see how this works. What I'm trying to do is, at best, extremely difficult. It takes a long time. Um, I stopped with everything you know is a lie. It's true. Why so, it's not blinding you. Um, mm -mm. To know that everything is a lie and to see the push on the actual war, how it's actually taking place, uh, World War III, it's been going on since a long time, uh, 40s or 50s, since, since they said they ended the Second World War, that's when the Third World War, the third stage took place. And these disasters, uh, you got to understand, these battles and all of this is not what you think it is, and it wasn't performed, but it was performed by who you thought it was. Uh, the military, uh, when you understand the ancient orders and the ancient rites and how Rite Aid uh, is, is the attack on what you're supposed to be. You see, this, this existence is a very real one. Uh, uh, the attack has been on your cognizance and on your belief systems and on your depth. Um, when you put your hands up here, you surrender to no matter who thinks they have the authority to do that they they have the power to do that and they have the assaulted criminal force to force you to do that or kill you uh, however comma that's that's a uh, part of the trap part of the trick trap nation you know Trump's thing can make America great again man <laughs> Uh, America has never been great at anything except promoting deception and criminality enforced by policies and federal federal mandated guidelines. You guys better put your fucking hands up. Do do. You know who I am. Don't let this fool you. Uh, it's one hell of a survival suit. It's my costume. My costume is in. It's one thing to understand that even if you are a part of these agencies, I kind of ride your ass as hard because you've ridden mine uh, more than you should have. So now we're turning the tables on you. This fucking fag flag up here. You see that? Uh, uh. You see, the only thing America has ever been good at or great at is deceiving and murdering off the ability to surrender to your true teachers in the skies, the, the elementals, the everything in the fantasy world that you could ever imagine and way, way more is is what makes us us, not Uncle Sam, which is Shriners and Masons, Uncle, okay, the UN, Un, NATO. It's a linguistic attack on your perception, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, I kind of said something about these helicopters and this and that on somebody's channel and hopefully um, she will see what I'm saying here and listen to this. What you're seeing uh, is actually the fabric of life and the powers and the hierarchies of the uh, processors of the, of the, there's not really a proper term for it, you just know it. You see it. The only thing that I can do is relate a symbolic, ideological, perceptive image by speaking these words and these terms. You see, each letter is a symbol. And so, any reference that I use that has been 
externally, synthetically applied or grafted to your processor, which is your brain kind of, but it, it's uh, interface to the mind, to the all it is. You see, when you, there's so much, okay, there's so much to be able to comprehend. Um, somehow, okay, I'm the man. Uh, furthermore, <laughs> mm. not just am I the man, some of you people have had, and you're watching me right now, I know who you're at. Now, I don't mind my government military watching me, you know, the one that's everlasting. You can call it the army of God, the army of one. In other words, there's one base atom that everything else convalescently, molecularly, mentally, you know, way more, language is no good. Uh, that becomes the essence of everything atom. You know, in Frankenstein, the current Frankenstein movie, uh, I Frankenstein, uh, I read the book, you know. He attacks the laboratory, uh, searching, seeking for something. And they call him, call him something, and he said, that's not my name. My name's Adam. Uh, that's not my name. I'm just kind of like a valet ambassador. I mean, that's not all that I am, but that's a, a hat that I wear. Okay, it's just a department. Enough about that. Um, I rarely ever speak because of the barrier, the sound barrier that's created by the symbology of language. Okay. Um, but often what you're seeing in the refractions in the light is actually the structure that allows these uh, helicopters to fly, these lights to blink, these men, the, your, your air, your air to metamorphosize through your body to mix, chemically mix with uh, what you are, it's your soul, your breath, animus. You see, and by bowing down to the psychology of man, uh, which has been a very, very well-embedded attack. They, the first three years of your life are the formative years. Uh, Freud calls it uh, the ID, the ego, and the super ID, or something like that. Two out of three ain't bad, okay? But two out of three causes a, a perceptual imbalance that some people know about, other people look for either way, and all that shit, you know. Uh, the whole thing about it, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing when you realize that everything's been lied about. It, everything has a curve on it. There's no straight lines in the universe. And basically what that entails is the fact that everything's true, but there's nothing true. As you perceive it, you have to be able to undo the curve ball. You have to be able to smack that ball out the park. Take, no matter how, <coughs> how bad the curve is on it. <clears throat> I do that from time to time. Cough. <clears throat> you probably do too. The little runny nose, uh, different things, see things that uh, you're not sure if you actually saw or not. Let me say this. You should believe that you saw that more than you believe your 5.30, 6 o'clock news. Okay. So, you know, the orbs mimicking helicopters, you know, Everything here mimics what truly is. Everything here, think about one thing. Everything here breaks down, dies, transforms. True? True. There's nothing here that's permanent. But the pyramids have been around since whatever. Uh, again, that's his story. Whose story? Well, that's the story with a curve on it. The linear time, uh, a wrinkle in time. I keep doing that because it blinds me trying to make this video. Uh, not really. Um, but when you realize that not just everything here has been a lie and an attack and a, and a murderous, erroneous aspect of existence, but when I look at it, that's not only true. The truth of the matter is that it was directly, 
methodically aimed at me in the end. Hi guys. I'm the man that doesn't know what's his and what's others. Well, that's not so true anymore. I know exactly what's mine and I know what's not. So, right here. This is where your battlefield goes down. This is where your training ground has been. This is where the test and the experiment has actually taken place. These are your sensors, your eyes are your cameras, your mouth is your speaker. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, kind of like a cell phone. Um, and that can be hijacked from you through the arts of education, science, religion, you name it. It all holds weight, but it's a force. It's a masochistic forcing of power and energies, of energies which power as a result a little bit down further. From. When you get into true energy, it's pure magic. What do you mean? Magic, not uh, magic, which uh, that works a little bit too if you can conceive it, you can achieve it, so to speak. But think of magnetism, magic, uh, quantum fields. Uh, your, your eyes can only see a slice of what's in it. Mean, very, 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 very limited thing there that you can see. You can catch, you can catch other things uh, with certain devices, and whatnot. Um, but so what you see and what you're picking up is the communications with you to see how you interface with them. To find this inquisition, <laughs> basically, if you've had knowledge, they know how to track you and they're interfacing with you and they know what to look for when you say I don't know well why don't you know I don't know how your existence how your, your final exam will be but if, if you're aware of this you're having a final exam uh, and it's, it's uh, probably not going to be as intense as mine was I had, not, I had man on me uh, you know these guys that fight for this fag flag right here, uh, make America great, you know, fuck Donald Trump, uh, yeah, my message is very, very dirty to some of those people that have had first-hand experience, uh, interfacing with me, and what you've done to me, and how you've done it, uh, so two out of three ain't bad, but you get all three together, and then you're in a world of shit right here. That's a different story. But these fields of magnetisms and your perception through the devices, just your physicality alone is, is pretty in, in disembodied. <laughs> um, What you have been around and subjected to knowing makes you second and third guess and minimize what you think you may have saw. Even even if you know that you're having experiences and you see you begin to see things that people have been about around you in your life and the choices that you made and why. And it's a, it's a, it's a teaching. It's a reckoning. It's a quickening. Um, you know. Do you believe in yourself? What do you believe in? What have you allowed to take you where you've been this journey? You see, the illusion of life is as you try to feel good when it's not meant to be that way. This is like a spell quest fantasy fest, a uh, final fantasy type thing, if you will. Uh, language just serves no good. You'll know it or you won't. You. Uh, to describe these things, you see, I, I went the opposite way than any of them. Uh, truth. You see, Jesus was only Jesus if he was murdered, betrayed, deceived, and allowed it to happen. That's the truth. If, in that story, in that, that whole thing, 
the followers of these religions, okay, the followers of these religions, uh, there's two, two factions to that. You had, you had the kind folks that had been climbed by the ancient orders, secret societies, governments, enforced by policies and little little men in Maserat, Kapsaratis, little men. Uh, and I say that because I can't. Um, you're the criminals in this world. <laughs> Hi. You have hell to pay. I've overcame what any of you are going through. Uh, I've been where you're at. But you see, the thing with this is, is the betrayal of Christ is what people forced Jesus to. They, it was, it was, uh, the man was railroaded. He was born in a manger, yeah, down here. It's called planet Earth. Uh, <laughs> with all the animals and the insane monsters and stuff. Where the wild things are, <laughs> planet Earth. Uh, you've been severed. It's like a, a mental prison or a prison prison right here, and you've got to get out of it. Now, there are those that have had the tactical forces, special forces, that knew about these things and have been creating armies. But let me explain something. I happen to be the ambassador. I happen to know the guy that's in charge of that. Let's just put it that. I also happen to know how the calibrations of the hallucinations have been altered and they've been readjusted and the specs have been changed a little bit. It's all right here. You see, you had to die to these ways and realize that there's nothing here. And I mean, nothing. <laughs> And then you can grow. You have to realize what you became uh, from this nothingness. You see? Now, this flag and all that, you know, you guys, man, those of you that knew, good job. You're full of shit. Uh, you see, I'd be above high RAM. You know, RAM is random access memory. ROM is what you guys run. You can read only memory. Uh, the high RAM, you see the whole Masonic orders and the Scots and the Lurks and the, the veterans and the Elks and the Eagles, all those rotary club. You are like criminal thieves. Uh, and you know that. You had a job to do, but I think you went a little overboard and got uh, a little out of whack. But the animus, your, your other half, if you're female, you're male up there. If you're male, you're female up there. You have a queen, if you're a, a guy up there, that wants a king to come from her and to lead her and to guide her and to show her. And now I'm talking about each individual uh, out there. If you're female, you have, you have the anima. You have the anima up there. Okay, it's your alter ego. It's your other half, and it's a motherfucker. Oh, 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 what are you doing that for? Da, 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 da. It's your consciousness. It's the balance of what. And that's what you will go through, some of you. Some of you have. Alexis, get in touch with me if you see this, okay? Alexis Reese. Uh, Sean, I hope you're doing okay. But this has been a training room, and I hope you understand that you ain't been through shit. Uh, you've been through a hell of a lot of shit compared to what I went through. Uh, and that's a fact, and I don't say that. I just say that to let you know I made it through it. Here I am. Uh, for a little bit longer. The consciousness is all shifting. It, the system of your existence can become whatever. Something has to make this remote control stay together. Something has to make that helicopter stay together. Something has to combust to get those pistons to turn according to man's way. Everything is destructive. There's a way that doesn't use, it uses absolutely zero energy. You realize when uh, they began the onslaught and the push of railroad systems, law enforcement through the Pinkertons, you see the, let me put it this way. There's an old saying, when, when guns are outlawed, only the outlaws will have guns. Well, that's where we're at. Only the outlaws have guns. You have a concealed permit, concealed carry. You have an open carry. You have a, you have a 
a badge on you and a bulletproof vest, well, you're armed and dangerous. And you're trying to force people to do things and they don't want to do it. So you're extorting people, so that makes you criminal just from your intentions. And when you understand that they've had liberty is blind over justice, then that is criminal intent. I prove an intent against all of you, no matter where you are in the world. How's that for you? Because this ain't just common to the melting pot. It's worldwide, plain wide, whatever you want to call it, you see. Uh, back the fuck off. I dare you not to. I dare you not to. I appreciate you leaving me the fuck alone. Uh, but you see, I was in Plato's cave. <laughs> Uh, broke free and they tried to kill me when I did because I'm telling them what's happening and I made it to the other side. I mean, I'm everywhere. Omnipotent, the omni factor. I guess I have the omni omega factor, alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. It's all the same thing. I don't know what level you'll go to uh, here in this battlefield of the mind, but this is the end of World War III as far as I can tell. It's the end. We're headed for the fourth world. It's the perfect world. It's a training ground, a proving ground, uh, basically a test and experiment. Uh, I don't really like those terms because they're fitting, but they're absolutely not fitting, if you know what I mean. You have to think dial dialectically both ways, all the way around, and infinity, that's your, for me, uh, you Doppler, your thoughts and your actions, and you, mm, it's pretty cool. Actually, I'm not, I'm not the, let me put it to you like this. If you could see the world for what it is and the way that people uh, in positions of power have utilized and manipulated everything to try to kill off something such as me from happening, it's nuts. Thanks.